kind of a little more complication the second half to a little rush that we're some of the yeah, I, yeah I, don't know, I don't know if we were necessarily rushed. I didn't think the ball moved like it did in the, in the first half and, you know, probably give them some credit. You know, they, they, uh, I thought they tried to pressure us in the first half and, you know, we did a good job of moving the ball and keeping the ball ahead of their defense. And then I thought in the second half we did not do a very, very good job of that. And you probably got to give them some credit, you know, getting out and pressuring. Um, and, and we didn't respond well to it. Was there anything maybe more that you guys could have done on Sullivan, or was it just a case of him getting some touchdowns? You know, one of the things defensively, you know, against him, he had a very, very good game. He made some big shots for him, but you know, the shots he would get was was taking was long pull up two point jump shots. You know, and that's better than a lot of threes. You know, he made a few, um, but he wasn't necessarily all the problem. I think there was a stretch there where they maybe scored nine straight times down down the floor, and then we certainly fouled too much to start the second half, putting them in the bonus. Um, but he, but he played he played well, uh, and I thought Alexander played well in the second half. What did you do to open? What did you do well to open up the 18 point lead? Well, you know, I, I think you know again, I don't want to comment on Bill's team. I'm sure Bill wasn't too happy with his team's performance in the first half. Um, and, you know, again, I think for us, we moved the ball very well. We kept it ahead of their defense. We had penetration. We were playing inside and out. And, um, you know, certainly there was a clear size advantage, you know, that they had against us in the, in the front court. And I thought the biggest thing that helped us was, one, we didn't foul a whole lot in the first half. We eliminated second-chance opportunities for them. I think they had four offensive rebounds in the first half. That enabled us to get out on the break. The game was very, very fast in the first half, and the game got slowed in the second half. Um, but I thought we played well in the first half, you know, in, in terms of, again, I, I don't know if Bill maybe, maybe feels his team did not play great in the first half, um, but I thought our ball movement and the things that we did uh, offensively and defensively were good um, in, in the second half. Um, I thought we started the half okay. You know, I knew they were going to come out. They're down 15 or at home. I knew they were going to come out and at least really try to turn up the heat. And we responded pretty well. Then we had a stretch there, I think, in, in the middle of the half there where, I think they went on a 17-0 run or whatever it was and, and basically took the lead. And, um, you know, we had our opportunities, we had our chances. We had some shots. I thought Horford had two or three wide-open threes there in the first half. He didn't make any of them. Uh, Dorian had a couple drives in there. He couldn't finish. Uh, Casey Hill got to the rim. He couldn't finish. Uh, Frazier had an open three. He missed. Coupled with the fact that we had some turnovers and some empty possessions just the way we ran offense. And they were certainly more efficient in the second half. Really, what, what about the atmosphere? What, what kind of effect do you think that had? Just this crowd, how no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Our guys have played in really good environments before. You know, Wisconsin last year was great. You know, Kentucky's great. This place is great. So they've, they've been in those places before. I don't think so. I think if it was anything, we would have seen it earlier in the game. Um, but I don't think our guys were affected by that. Get any positive out of seeing maybe Chris Walker and Devin Robinson? Yeah, no, there were some things. I mean, obviously, we spent a lot of time coming out of the Bahamas, you know, working on some things, and it's been hard the last week just because we've had limited numbers in practice um, and the balance between, you know, trying to work and have physical contact and competing against each other, and also the balance of, you know, trying to make sure that we, <coughs> you know, don't come in here totally depleted uh, physically. Uh, but we've spent a lot of time with those guys, and it was good to see Devin Robinson respond like he did. I thought he was a bright spot, and I thought. Chris Walker had a very, very challenging week this week, and I give him credit. He stepped up and really responded well, you know, himself, and gave us some good minutes. Good morning. Uh, why you like Carter didn't make the trip, and what's the prognosis for him going forward? Ankle, um, and, and I just left him behind. It's a school day, um, you know, to take him out of school and then have a miss rehab sitting here. Um, we have trainers back there that can work on him. He can do some rehabilitation and. Today was a class day. I don't think there's any reason for him or Devon Walker to come here with, with school going on. Billy, you mentioned the types of shots Seldon was hitting. How, how does that change the dynamic trying to defend Kansas when he is able to connect? Because he came in off a of Yeah, you know, I, I think, you know, he's probably a lot a lot like most young players. Um, I thought he would come off and, and, and play well tonight because I think he was over 10 his last game. He hadn't shot the ball well. I think he's always been a streaky shooter. Um, but the one thing about him is he's, I think he's got confidence in himself and belief in himself. and. You know, I think that's what really good players do is that, you know, when they have a kind of night like he had in their last game, you know, he came back and responded really, really well. Um, you know, I, I, you know, he drove it to the basket. But again, he made some tough pull-up jump shots, and, you know, we're going to give those up. Not, not when I say give them up, we'd like to challenge him, but we're not going to 
I, I felt in the game the three-point line and their post-up game were the two things that we really, really had to try to take away. And we had to give help in the post. And if we were going to give up anything and sell for anything, it was going to be, um, you know, long twos. And, and, and we tried to cover the basket as best we could, you know, having limited depth, uh, front court depth. All right. Next question. Thank you.